no, 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 Buddy, it's Nintendo Ace 100 here with Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, Episode 8. In the last episode, we got some pieces of heart and stuff, getting ready for the third dungeon of the game, and I decided I was going to leave off the episode where I left off the first episode of the series. But anyway, let's—I'm I'm just curious. I want to go check on in on Zelda, see if she has anything different to say. Ooh, reminiscent music. Let's see, what do you have to say, old man? If you defeat the wizard, the soldiers may regain their sanity. Go seek the pendants. What do you think I'm doing, you idiot? You should go and follow the mighty the elder man on your map when you explore. If you don't know what to do next, you can always just... I am not visiting a fortune teller. They rip you off. Seriously. But actually, wait. Wait, what? No. Wait. This counts as part of the dungeon from... the beginning of the game? Really? Hmm. Didn't expect that. But anyway, now, um, in this video, we will finally be heading up this mountain and heading towards that blinking red circular necklace thingy. Whatever that is. Because it's pretty. And yay, DDD soldier. <laughs> Take that. Let's, and we're gonna wanna just head up north here. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. No. Spin attack. Save me, spin attack. No, no, stop. Okay, that's it, screw it. Okay, back up. Back up. Back up. Thank you. <sighs> Sometimes these DG soldiers really get on my nerves. But anyway, um, as I was saying, you're just gonna wanna head up here and... Ooh, wait a minute, I, for I forgot that our new and improved boomerang has sparkles on it! Okay, that makes it all, that makes it, that completely solves the reason why, um, we apparently can throw it farther now. It has, it's powered by sparkles. Yeah, let's just sign side. Danger! Don't go in Death Mountain without the king's permission. Well, the king is a big old bag of bones. No joke. I mean, he literally is. Did you not watch the intro game? But okay, lift this giant rock and, what the hell? Um... That was weird. <laughs> okay, but anyway. Whoa, it's really dark in here. That... Okay, oh, yeah, that, that's the regular same cadence. What am I thinking? Whoa, geese, crap, crap. Just head up here. Ooh. I don't know who you are, but if you're going through the mountain, you take me with you. I lost my lamp, so, uh. Please? Um. Pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, I guess we did. Uh, watch your step. There are like holes in the ground. Could could you turn right here, young man? Are you going to the mountain to look for the golden power? No, I'm looking for the giant red circle thing necklace thingy. Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people vanish in the mountain. Blah blah blah. Old man, speak. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Screw you, old man. Okay, whoa, music slow down there. Okay, I don't care about your granddaughter or whatever you're gonna say. Whatever. Oh crap, keys, keys, keys! Kill the old man! Can I kill him all? Come on, no. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid him. I don't really care. And, wow. I didn't have to go that far, really. Ooh, and I, I forget the name of the. Oh, whoa. Giant boulders, oh my gosh. The giant green cocoa puffs are trying to kill me. <laughs> But, I don't know what these things are supposed to be. Um, well, no, stop. Bad. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna keep moving. These do way too much damage. The missing mans are still alive somewhere. I believe a, a hero with a capital H in his name will rescue them. Is that me? I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Yeah, you do. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this, if you wander into a magical transport. Magical transporter. This is not Star Trek. Gaze into this mirror. Okay. Wow, a mirror. What is this, Beauty and the Beast? 
He gave you the magic mirror! This mirror is beautiful, blue and clear and pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, now, like You feel like it is going to absorb you into another world. No foreshadowing at all. And whoa, 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 God. <laughs> Best dodge ever! What? What? What was that? Are you telling me I got hit as I went into the building? And I don't. I, I, uh, the wizard has deceived the king. Now he's trying to open the way to the dark world. Okay, that's the first time we've ever heard about the dark world in this game. You will need the moon pearl, which is in the top of the tower. All I can do for you now is comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. Cool, he filled up a heart. Let's see. Ooh, pot. Must throw pots. Yeah. Let's see, what's over here? Keys? What am I doing? Let's kill you with my sparkle boomerang. Yay, sparkle boomerang. Okay, more money. Wow, that was totally worth killing three keys. Let's see what's down in here. I actually don't really remember. I didn't bother practicing before I did this part. Whoa. What the hell? Where am I? Um... I don't know where I'm going. Wait a minute. Uh... Isn't the old man's house around here somewhere? Um, oh crap, 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 no. Oh, okay, yeah, it's right there, okay. So that path was just a way for me to avoid some rocks, I guess. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> but anyway, I st okay, I don't get what these things are. They look like moles with wings on their backs that turn into... Di turn in yeah, they look almost like Grimer, like, from, like, Pokemon. Weird. But, okay. Maybe I should just call them Grimer Moles. Yeah, I'm calling them that. Screw it. So what does the sign say? This is a key that leads back to Kakariko Village. Okay, I, I'll just show this. Um, I know I might. I, I probably will use it sometime later in the game. And, oh, crap. Okay, uh... Wow. Oh, come on. I'm already about to die again. Screw you, game. Okay, no. No. Bad. Bad bats. Which is funny, they, I, they actually did have an enemy in um, one of the Zelda games called Bad Bats. But anyway, let's see. Just go along the wall. Oh, come on! <sighs> and just. No, no! Ah! <sighs> Seriously, game? Game over! Uh, start from Mountain Cave, I guess. Okay. Thank you. I will show... I'll just show that, um, cave off later. Screw that! I... Maybe I really should have practiced it before I started this video. <sighs> but anyway, okay. Stupid green Cocoa Puffs. See, this is what happens when Cocoa Puffs go bad. They turn green and they try and kill you. Makes perfect sense. Just sparkle boomerang. Screw that sign. Let's see, yeah, I think I can go slightly faster up a staircase like that, but whoa. And ooh, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny floor. Let's see, what's in here? Ooh, heart piece! I saw a piece of rock up there. Let's see, is there anything in there? Anything? Oh, uh, another piece of heart, really? The game's, the game's just taunting us now. Anyway, I think I know which way to go. Um, I, yeah, hop down this ledge. Did I ever shoot that? I know you. What? Aren't you supposed to go off that? Ah! Okay, I'm gonna start. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. And end up breaking the. You're gonna end up breaking the keyboard. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm supposed to go over that ledge, I guess. Okay, going through that door. That makes more sense. And just. I can just, yeah, that just makes, that's one thing that makes some of these areas a lot easier is when you can just, um, do that, do what I just did. Let's see what's over here. Fairies! I need fairies! Okay, put that in a bottle. Yeah, let's keep it in a bottle. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I'm full on fairies now. Good. So I got to waste some of those, because I fell in a hole and got killed by a boulder even though I was in the house! <sighs> okay. Dude, stop calling me. 
Did I? Okay, I was literally about to just say, stop calming down. <sighs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh well. But you guys are probably enjoying my pain right now. But anyway. How do. How do I get down to that ledge? I don't remember. Crap. Okay, I guess I'll test to find out again, see if I don't overshoot it. I mean, that was kind of weird. Maybe I don't hold forward or something. And... Okay. I just like that effect. Wait a minute. Is that an island? Is that like an island floating in the sky? Because th there are trees down uh, under. What? Never mind. I I'm just not even gonna ask. How the hell do I get down there? <sighs> Seriously. I'm going to figure it out. Okay, maybe I should just go keep exploring. I'll maybe I'll just grab whatever down there in a minute. So don't run into the blatant rock that looks like crap. Ooh. What's that? Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap, I'm a bunny! What the hell? And what's with the messed up music? And I have glowing red eyes. What the hell is wrong with me? Am I playing Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? What the hell happened to this rock? What? <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Oh, uh, you, Mr. Bunny. This world is like the, the real world, but evil has twisted it. Lone power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. Are you calling me a bunny? I am no bunny. I've always changed my mind, but I, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape. Here, wait. So if you can't make up move your mind, you turn into a ball. What do you want? Do you want something to say with to me, silly, silly rabbit? Tricks are for kids. <laughs> I came out here to get the power of gold, gold, golden power, dude. Watch the intro. But now I'm a freak and I can't get back to the real world. Uh huh. If only I had a Moon Pearl from the Tower of Hera. I could go back to my original shape. I've got a good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Chew! Chew! Sure, whatever you say, go back. <laughs> Did he just kick him? <laughs> okay, that was funny. That that was just too funny. But anyway, let's look. is there anything else around here? That does not look like this that doesn't look like a video game controller at all. Dang it, no Pegasus boots. Crap. Let's see, I want- Whoa. Purple clouds. Weird. Let's see, is there anything down here? Okay, that cave is now gone. I've never actually explored this area. Hmm. Okay. Looks like most of the- Okay, what's making that sound? That does not sound good. Seriously, what is making that sound? It's annoying. Is the cave over here open? Okay, yeah, that one's open. I've honestly never explored some of this stuff. Oh, okay. Very fun. I will see the woods are coming in the Close your eyes and look! Okay. Is that really the only thing that's in here? Because, seriously, I mean, I don't know. A lot of people don't really explore this because, as I'll show you in a minute, I. Ooh, whoa. Lava flows. But anyway, um. Seriously, in most. As you'll see in a minute, um. It's really, you really normally aren't supposed to spend this that long in this area, but is it? What the hell are these? Uh, they look like robot glowy thing. I don't know. And seriously, with all these lava flows, seriously, where are we, Mustafar? Or this dark world that people all of a sudden start talking about in this episode, not in any previous episode. But anyway, I guess time to head back up to where I was. And oh, great. Ledge that I couldn't get to before. Good for me. But anyway, and I like this music. It's kind of cool. It's kind of got this creepy little vibe to it. Not exactly what you would expect to hear when you get transformed into a bunny. Still don't know really how that works. I don't. I don't see how Link turned into a bunny. I mean, I guess is he really that light of heart and mind? I don't know. Come on, kick him again. Kick him one last time. Okay, I don't want to talk to you anymore. But yeah, what we're supposed to do is use that magic mirror that the old man gave us, blah blah blah. Let's see, I think, uh, let's use it right about here. Where does that take us? Ooh! You found a piece of art and you're sparkly! Hell yeah! Let's see, what's over here? I will find out how to get down there. Okay, uh, 
seriously, how do I get over here? What the? Ugh. How did I miss that every other time? And, uh, whatever. I really don't care anymore. But anyway, as you can see, that right over in that direction, this is where we came down to go get those fairies that, um, from earlier, but just head up this way, and there's that piece of heart the game was taunting us with. Yay, now I can get it. You found a piece of heart! Again! Link, as I suppose, you must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hero on top of Death Mountain. Okay. Slightly legit advice. Still not that worth it, but okay. Um, considering I am an LP, I'm supposed to know everything about this game, even though I didn't know there was a fairy's fountain in that area that I was in just a minute ago, which I think I'm gonna actually have to go back to, just so I can, um... Just so I can, uh, get back up there, because as you probably saw, um... In the light world, we can't actually go up any further up the mountain. But, just now that we have, but since we have our pretty, pretty magic beauty, beauty and the Beast mirror... Um, sorry, I burped there. Uh, I guess we can go up there now, but of course we gotta go into the like the really trippy, swirly thingy, or as Josh Jefferson would say, swirly random thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know what he'd say. But besides, he usually says that when he goes into a dungeon or something. But just hop down here and don't hop down there. Don't be stupid, unless you have more stuff to grab. But anyway. Right here, this is the third dungeon of the game, and even though I probably should end off the video right here, I want to do some exploring. Let's see, check the map. Now we pro- actually, uh, just so I can keep the length of some of these videos consistent, I probably want to cut it off in a second, but I want to show this how cool this bridge- how the, cool the view is from this bridge. Ooh, what's that say? Uh... <laughs> Probably sounded really weird because I shook my mic when I did that, but okay, let's see. No, don't use that. And let's see. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Vray Ether! Kidding. <laughs> okay, but anyway. But we don't have the Master Sword yet, but we will have that soon. Seriously, is this a floating island? <sighs> anyway, kill the Grimer Mole. Seriously, that looks like a Grimer. I mean, seriously, is there any way to kill this thing? Besides using the map, maybe. I wonder if I can blow him up. Blow him up. That doesn't seem to work. Maybe magic powder? I know I'm just wasting. Okay, I'm just wasting time now. Uh, no, bad. And nothing. Oh, this is the first time I've actually used magic powder, isn't it? Oh well. But anyway, on the note of me finally getting to this. The next dungeon, but not having an enemy either infinitely jumping or doing infinitely doing something around me. Oh wow, that sounded a lot more messed up than I thought it, than I was expecting. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video where I will take on the Tower of Hera, the third dungeon of the game. See you guys in the next episode.